Hi everyone, Gabby here. How you doing? And welcome back to another Nomad to Nowhere episode. And today's episode is episode of five, The Kindness of Strangers. All right, let's get started, shall we? We shall. Woohoo! La la la. And we're gonna start in three, two, a one. Let's go. Sorry, it's a little blurry. <laughs> Friend, you got scared that death, and I know what seems to be troubling you. Hello, Scout Police, you Undertaker. We're in pursuit of a dangerous criminal. Have you seen anyone of questionable demeanor? Well, that certainly sounds troublesome. What pray tell makes this criminal of yours so dangerous? It's the Nomad of Nowhere, the only fellow with bona fide badge. Scout, all that matters is that we're looking for him now. Have you seen him? I sure have, ma'am. He ran off that way. Well, come on, Tom. You heard the man. Let's cut dirt. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you can always count on the kindness of strangers. It's okay, friends. They're gone. You know, I find it rather unfair of people to judge one another. If you really are a criminal, then your judgment will come after you've left this corporeal world behind. I'm trying to say you're safe with me. Now, now. Bounty hunters love this side of nowhere. <laughs> it's wonderful for business, but trouble for you. Tell you what, I can take you across the treacherous part of the desert so you and me take you on your merry way. How's that say? Oh, splendid. Make yourself comfortable, friend. It's a bumpy ride. Come on out, partner. Don't you truly trust him? Oh. Yep. Yeah, my gut was not wrong. A nomad of nowhere. Unbelievable. Now, I'm not sure what those dandelions would have done to you, but I promise you're safe with me. Isn't that right, Clarence? There's no use in struggling. Those handcuffs are of my own design, and they only open with my skeleton key. Pardon my wordplay. I've never had a live audience. Oh, I've done it again. <laughs> now, handcuffing you up to the wall like a prisoner might seem inhospitable, but I didn't want you taking off on me before I had the chance to talk. I've heard you can do some amazing things, things that have piqued my professional curiosity. There it is! Fascinating, simply fascinating. So curious, this ability to conjure life out of nothing. But is this life? Is it truly? Does it have a soul, free will? Or are these critters of yours simply slaves, animated only to do your bidding? Wait, no, are they intelligent? And to what measure? Are they extensions of you, their master? Quick, what's the square root of nine? So, there are certain limitations. That's no good. No good at all. How could... What's that, Clarence? That is peculiar. Why do uh, you bring the music box to life and not the key? Why don't you try it again? <laughs> well, would you look at that? Don't you see? The skeleton key, like your restraints, is made of bone. Dead material. You can't bring life back to that where it is left. But it seems your magic has to go somewhere. I take it you didn't know that. That's all right. We're both learning new things. It's certainly fascinating, though it is a tough break for Clarence. But that's to be expected. No one in nowhere can perform necromancy anymore. Although we might be able to change that. Do you know what this is? A spell book. Only the Yadala still harp on about the old days, before El Rey, before the magic disappeared. Lo and behold, they're right. And this book is proof. Problem is, I can't understand most I'm of sorry, I'm really quiet. I'm, like, I'm not familiar I'm enough with magic to do anything really meaningful. You, you can learn. I'm what happens when I'm watching something I've never watched before. If we were to bring them back, it would be irresponsible of us not to pursue such queries. Don't you agree? No. No? But you have this blessing. You could do so much, expand your powers so great, instead of playing stupid games! Bringing animation to these useless trinkets does them no favor. What is the point of it all? Why do you... What is it? You're upset over this? Why? Do you feel responsible for them? Do you feel the need to protect them? Then why bring them to life in the first place? They're here to protect you. Good question, Clarence. What does 
make him so special? What does he have inside him the rest of us don't? Perhaps we should find out. I'll be right back. Don't let him out of your sight, Claire. Why, hello there, friend. How can I help you? Friend's dead. Begging your pardon? Old partner here took a flurry of arrows out there and Thank left you. that old nomad. I'm grateful for the business, friend, but... You can call me Big Jim. Big Jim? But, you see, I am rather... Particular. Thanks for understanding during these trying times. How much is a tombstone? You charge by the word or the letter on that. Not sure if you'd be happy with medium, Steve. I'm sure we can accommodate whatever you can afford, sir. That nomad sure is a wide one. Heard he done made some fellow punch himself half to death with his own fist. That's dark magic for you. How tragic. You ain't happen to see him anywhere? I have not. I can't say the company I keep is very lively. You see, that was a bit of wordplay. Because they're corpses. No, I understood. I just find that offensive and unprofessional. What was that? Um, uh, what was what? I thought you said you was all alone out here. Please, sir. There's no me. Somebody's here. Go, little music. Uh, I want to play a music box, but it's not a music box. Huh. Oh, unprofessional. I just got. Oh, I'm so sad. I got a little teary eyed. I and today I actually was uh, was watching some like videos and they kind of got me all sad. So a lot of like any any little bit of sadness, I just literally like I I tear up. So I'm a little sensitive today. <laughs> Um, but that was an emotional roller coaster ride for me. That literally had me at the edge of my seat. So that's why if I, if I was very quiet I, or I was very still, it's because I was on it. I, I, my heart was beating so fast. I was nervous as heck. Um, in the fields, man. Just the fields. Um, so I hope you enjoyed my, the video. 
not my video, but the video, my reaction, and all that beautiful jazz. If you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe down below in the little red box. Maybe I should just cut that off. Feel free to subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button, leave your thoughts, comments, and suggestions with a link. Thank you very much. Hit that bell to get notified when I upload my videos. Um, don't drink and drive. Don't take some drive. Don't do it. You only got one life. Life is short. Have fun, but be safe. And I will see you guys on the next video. All right? Smooches. Mwah. Bye, my smooches. I love you. I'm still working on the outro. Don't judge me. I'll never be perfect. Oy, oy. Bye.